I once read that the purpose of a portfolio is to make someone understand who you are and what you want without using any words, that it allows people to get to know you without needing to see you. Nevertheless, I think the most important thing about a portfolio is the person behind it, the person who creates it, the person that's inspired, the person who works and the person who splashes all the passion on every single one of its pages. Me llamo Lucia, encantada de conocerles. I am 18 years old and I come from Tenerife. As you can imagine, it is very, very different to this, but one of the peculiarities you'll learn from me in the next few minutes is that I love changes, and this is precisely what has led me to send you this video. Let's start playing. I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Imagine a city, for example, London, or Milan, or New York, or Paris. Fashion is worldwide, you see. Now, think of a color. Red lips, black dresses, white shirts, pink hair, open. Fashion is color. I wanted to make a different portfolio and I just stopped and thought about this first. Why are you doing this? What does fashion mean to you, Lucia? What do you understand by fashion? And in my head, all I could see were lots of loose words. Hundreds of synonyms for a word that cannot be described in a sentence because it encompasses too much to fit into a miserable three-line dictionary definition. I thought of questions. Why are you doing this was the first one. What? Who? How? When? What if it goes wrong? But what if it works out? I thought of motivation. Wanting to do things even when you've never known anything about them. The sudden appearance of a thousand reasons in your head which lead you to wanting to learn, to make mistakes over and over again, doing something you've never done before, yet you know you want to continue doing for the rest of your life. And evolution. A year and a half ago, I knew nothing about art or textiles or design. I think I didn't even know what a portfolio was. The outcome couldn't have been any better, but the beginning was quite tough. I went to my first art lesson and the teacher said, Take your rotten vegetable and draw it. You have two hours starting from now. Go! I stared at her as if to say, what about the explanation? I started getting stressed and thought I couldn't do it. I considered the possibility of having been wrong that moving to another country alone to do things I didn't know about had been the worst decision of my life. But I did my best. I took a deep breath, I sat down, I went little by little, patiently, and I worked it out. When I finished, I called my mother crying and I thanked her. I didn't know I could do those things. I was proud and really grateful for having the opportunity to follow my dreams. Fashion is all about taking risks and always giving the best of yourself. It's all about being confident enough to be brave. I've convinced myself that this is how it should always be, each and every day. In order to make things right, you have to always give the very best version of yourself and that this one is the only valid one. The rest of them are only sketches. And trying new things. Fashion is about imagination and not being afraid of making mistakes because you never stop learning and doing things wrong is most of the times also part of the process. Fashion is a portfolio. It is making someone understand through a dress or a pair of shoes what's happening in your head, every idea you have, how you're able to coordinate your hands, your eyes and your audience all together and to give them something to love. It is to search and to think. Fashion is basically going crazy because you love it and this sometimes frustrates you and it is a love you hate relationship that follows you along throughout your whole life. And nothing in the world will make you let it go because from the first moment you felt it, it's been like finding yourself. And on top of all these things, fashion is all about the feelings. Fashion has to make you feel things. It has to make you feel happy, sexy, fun, powerful, unique, free. If you don't feel anything, then it's not fashion. It's just clothes. Today, I've given my fashion, my best, just like every day, or even a little bit more. I know there are people better than me in many things, and also worse. But if there's something I've learned, is that we all have what we've been given, and it's each of our responsibilities to make the most of it. You have to find out for yourself how to make your virtues shine. Fashion, just like life. This is my portfolio. The way I want you to understand who I am and what I want. The reasons why I do what I do and the way in which I think. What's inside my head and what I want to get out of it. And the one shoe of my life. Aquasuras Wild Thing 105. Bread.
For all of this I've shown, for everything I've done, I would love to be given the opportunity to study and be trained at London College of Fashion. I have the desire, the commitment and the capacity and I know you can give me the best tools that allow me to fulfill my dream. I want to do, feel and be fashion.